Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Another offshoot. On Thursday nights, Bachelor in Paradise and The Golden Bachelor are being watched by followers of The Bachelor Nation. Wells Adams, the Paradise bartender, recently stopped by Parade for a discussion and shared his ideas for a combined spin-off of the two shows. I have a picture of how The Golden Bachelor in Paradise should be, Wells remarked. It should take place in Florida, Scottsdale, or Palm Springs. It must be quite hot. We need to film it there, perhaps in an elderly care facility or a La Quinta setting where everyone needs to be wheeling around on golf carts, he continued. We should be going on private dates at a shuffleboard table. At the bingo, we would go on one-on-one -on -one or group dates. The host of the date will spend more time with the bingo winner. Wells didn't stop there, though. He had many plans for Golden BAP, for which he would, of course, serve as bartender. Wells told the publication, I believe there should be some kind of paddleboard competition with significant weight or stakes. Of course, I have to be there preparing drinks. In addition to a standard bar, I also require my lanta and tums for the cast just in case. I firmly believe that every romantic supper should begin when the sun is still up and take the form of a golden coral early bird special at 4.30 in the afternoon. You have to leave in a golf cart if you don't obtain a rose. Too good. Wells has really thought of everything, as evidenced by the fact that he gave his drink suggestions for an older cast in Paradise. I imagine I'd be creating a lot more martinis, maybe some old fashioneds, some Manhattans, he said, because I like to think that the seniors are a little bit more sophisticated. Perhaps some neat scotch. To keep them awake for the rose ceremony, I can imagine myself making a lot of the beverage in addition to lots of coffee. Okay, then for the remainder of the week, we'll just be thinking about a golden paradise. Who else would be excited to watch the show Wells imagined? Tell us in the comments section below. Should Jess Palmer focus solely on presenting the Bachelor franchise and let someone else call the football games? To learn why some college football spectators have that opinion. Stephen Palmer was not Chris Harrison's choice to take his place. When longtime host Chris Harrison announced his departure in 2020, ABC's Bachelor series saw a significant change. His support of season 25 participant Rachel Kirkconnell's alleged racist actions had caused public outrage, prompting him to make the decision. The network eventually revealed who would take Harrison's place after a year of interim guest hosts. Jess Palmer, the season 5 Bachelor, has been designated the new host of all franchise programs. This year, Chris Harrison launched a podcast. Harrison disclosed which Bachelor Nation alums were vying for his job during a recent episode of the most dramatic podcast ever. Wells Adams and Nick Vile, according to the former host, were vying for the lucrative hosting position. Harrison chose Wells Adams, the bartender from The Bachelor in Paradise. But it's evident that he had no influence because the network chose someone else from the franchise rather than Adams. Bond with Jerry Turner of The Golden Bachelor. Harrison's exit from Bachelor Nation in 2020 wasn't the only change. The network promised a senior dating show spinoff with a cast of actors that were at least 60 years old in the same year. After much anticipation, the spin-off eventually debuted in late September 2023, and viewers are raving about it. Jess Palmer, the consummate host, also presides over The Golden Bachelor. Palmer cares more about Jerry Turner than he does the other leads on the other shows in the franchise. The host once asked a weeping Turner whether he was okay during a recent rose ceremony. After making a disastrous college football commentary, Jess Palmer is under fire. 
Jess Palmer was a University of Florida football player in college and spent a brief time in the NFL before joining Bachelor Nation. Palmer fell in love with Jessica Bolin on season five of The Bachelor. However, the relationship ended a few weeks later, and there was no engagement. Jess Palmer converted his celebrity from his reality program into a position as an ESPN sports analyst, which he continues to hold in between his hosting responsibilities today. He participated on the broadcast team for the college football game between Auburn and LSU over the weekend. Palmer's commentary upset many viewers, who vented their frustrations on social media. According to Saturday Day South, the former football player appeared to call an impossible catch as one that the receiver needed to make. According to the newspaper, football fans viewed Palmer's analysis to be either boring or annoying, and social media posts confirmed this opinion. One Irit fan tweeted, Hard to listen to Jess Palmer call games after he became the The Bachelor franchise host. Others advised Palmer to continue with his other endeavors. Did you watch the ESPN game between LSU and Auburn? How did you feel about Jess Palmer's analysis? Please tell us in the comments. Star of Bachelor in Paradise Rachel Recchia addressed the internet criticism the program has been receiving. To express her ideas, she turned to her Instagram stories. She continued to express her confusion about the widespread animosity. To watch the video and hear what she had to say. Rachel Recchia addresses the criticism of The Bachelor in Paradise. Rachel Recchia, a former bachelorette, is coming out in response to the constant internet criticism of Bachelor in Paradise. She posted her opinions on Instagram. Initially, Rachel declared that everyone needed to have a talk since she was perplexed by all the negative feedback she had been hearing about Paradise. She said it's always so ridiculous and enjoyable. She went on to describe it as silly and lighthearted. Because the program is so much lighter than The Bachelor and The Bachelorette are every season, Rachel said that people continue to adore it. According to her, it lacks the traditional seriousness that is featured on those major shows every year. According to Rachel, there is a lot of opposition to it, especially since ABC switched from The Golden Bachelor to Bachelor in Paradise immediately. Yes, I get it, she replied, like it's very wholesome. We love Golden Bachelor. Even while everyone adores The Golden Bachelor, Rachel continued, it's not the same as Paradise. She emphasized that the show is entirely different. Because Bachelor in Paradise has always been the same show, everyone has always liked it. She described it as amusing and fun. She concluded by stating that she might be biased. She titled the video Justice for Paradise Justice for Toe Sucking and Pooh Babies. What causes all this hatred? Some of the Bachelor in Paradise tales have not been well received by the audience. The Poo Baby incident is one such tale. Everyone expressed how absolutely repulsed they were by this tale. Additionally, they didn't seem to enjoy the toe sucking. Some people are having a difficult time transitioning from nice Jerry Turner and his company of senior ladies to the immaturity of men and women in their 20s. Fans have, however, already pleaded for more paradise. Despite at times being absurd, the show has also been able to identify the most couples who have remained together, gotten married, and raised families together. If the programs had shown on different evenings, might this issue have been avoided? How do you feel? Keep checking for more updates on all of your favorite Bachelor Nation stars. Thanks for watching if you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.